This week's episode of The Grid is sponsored by Impix. Shoot today, upload tonight, we ship tomorrow. On one software, focused on photography. Peach Pit Press, publishers of technology books, ebooks, and videos for creative people. Epson, exceed your vision. Expo Imaging, rogue flash vendors for speedlight enthusiasts. Intel, the power you need for hardcore creatives. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional photography website. And B&H Photo, the professional source. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another live episode of The Grid being broadcast from our headquarters here in Tampa, Florida. I have two gentlemen with me today, each one more beautiful than the next. So we'll start with Pete because he's not as beautiful as Matt. To my left, Mr. Pete Collins. How's it going, guys? Good to be here. Good Stock to be Stock photographer, out. illustrator, love machine. To my right. I never knew that about Pete. I know. A lot of people don't. Yes, That's I am I an illustrator. Most people knew I was a love machine. It's the illustrator <laughs> yeah, that I know. throws them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> and this other guy's Matt Kloskowski. Because he's, he looks good, he don't have to say anything. Welcome back. How you doing, Manny? I'm good, man. Who's this guy? Good. That's Petey. Petey. We have Petey right. on the show today because right. we thought he would round out the whole... I would, I would balance y'all out. He would you balance. Would. Basically, y'all got me on here to be monkey boy that y'all could dump stuff on me. I understand my role. Yes. Yeah, and I accept well, it willingly. When we don't know what to say, we're going to go, Pete, yeah, Pete, take this one. Pete, this, this person's really bad. What do you think? And then when I answer it, then you'll make fun of my comments. Can but I'm okay with that. That's what we that. do. Oh, man, I just lost my ring. Okay. Would... I always play with my wedding ring, and it just, a little, don't let me leave without that. Or <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be a bad thing. <laughs> it's going to cause all kinds of problems. <laughs> hey, a um, couple Would things you today. Uh, you got to go by my blog today. Joe McNally wrote a wonderful post today uh, he did a guest blog uh, and it's it just happened to be well he didn't he knew it was coming on September 11th but he wrote a tribute uh, to some of the heroes and but the way he did it he is oh Joe's Joe, an awesome writer Joe's a phenomenal photographer he's a storyteller he's a storyteller he does it with words and he does it with with and, and this story is brilliant you got get some tissue and read this story it's it's just absolutely one of the best guest blogs ever. So go by my website, scottkelby.com, and check that out. A couple of little quick things. Number two is um, we started broadcasting free classes. So if you uh, go by kelbytraining.com, there's a little link up at the top, and you can go watch uh, one of our classes. This last week, it was my travel photography shot live on location in Paris. It was part one which is the actual shooting. Mm -hmm. Part two is the retouching of the images that we shot during the class, and that starts, I think, today. So, uh, yeah, go by right there, kelbytraining.com. Free class. You can watch the whole class. It's streaming continuously. So you can jump in there anytime. Jump in whenever you want. Jump in whenever you want, and uh, you're good to go. And uh, th thanks to the cursors dancing around there. Okay, so uh, next, uh, Photoshop World. We just came back from Photoshop World. It was a huge success. Dude, people love. People lost their mind at this conference. Yeah, it, it was one of was those the best vibe. Yeah, it was one of those conferences where it's like everybody you talk to was just uh, just gushing with. It. They were uh, they were so happy, um, and it's cool to see. I mean, it, from from all the attendees to the conference to all of the you know some of the vendors and every, everybody just loved the conference. So it was great. It makes it, was, it a lot more fun. Yeah, when, and, when and everybody the best attendance it. we've had in years. So it was great for that. And of course, Adobe stepped up and did something amazing to show. Support I think that's for why everybody show. loved it. I think part of one the reason if Adobe gives you the full creative cloud. You know, the registered attendees, the, the full paid registered attendees, got the entire, for a year, the yeah. full creative cloud. Photoshop, Illustrator, so, InDesign. All right, so you guys can Premier tell me, Pro. tell me if you felt the same way, because whenever you do your classes, you know, everybody's always got a different version of Photoshop and Lightroom, especially since they came out so recently. I know what you're going to say. And, and so you're always saying, so in Photoshop CS6, you can do it this way. But, but in, in Photoshop CS5, you got to do it this way. And then in CC, you got to do it this way. So it was so cool to tell people. Like somebody somebody raised their hand and they said, what version is that in? And I said, it's in the latest version. And the cool thing about it is everybody's sitting out there you has got it. it. So yeah, you never have to worry class. about. Same thing in my room. That Same was, uh, exact thing. So cool stuff. That but also, cool. we had Kanan there cleaning cameras and doing all kind they of great cleaned. stuff. I was excited about that. Canon cleaned 400 cameras. Yeah. 400 cameras oh. for free. You just brought your camera and they did it. Plus, at the end of the show, yeah. Google and Nick surprised everybody by giving everybody there the full 
NIC software plugin selection, 150 bucks, the whole collection, not selection. So it was called collection. Free Software World. It was Free Software yeah, that's World. That's the name and of the so conference. Nice. Great time. Thanks to everybody that helped out and did cool stuff. And those aren't his pictures. Okay. <laughs> I keep asking Matt, do you take those? But then when the whale shows up, he's underwater. Okay, that's not yours. All right. Hey, I want to talk about the Adobe thing. We've had a lot of questions. So while we were at Photoshop World, Adobe came out with what I thought was a, a really brilliant, fair, mega fair deal. Because we've been saying, all of us collectively, that there really wasn't a deal for photographers mm -hmm. on that. So if, if you were about Photoshop 5 or Photoshop 6, there wasn't a real compelling reason for you to go to the creative to the cloud. cloud. There, there really wasn't. There was like, there's not. And if I would you're tell, a Lightroom user. Yeah, and if you're a Lightroom user, same thing. And I would yeah. tell people, the deal's not there. Of course, nobody ever heard me say that. No, no, everything no, no, I've never no. written it <laughs> says that. Everything I've written, I said, nah, if you're a photographer, it's not there yet. You're just a shill. So they announced at the keynote, at the opening keynote, they announced that uh, Adobe is giving uh, photographers a bundle of Photoshop, the latest version of Photoshop, and Lightroom together for $9.99 a month. And plus you get, you know, a Behance membership, Pro membership, and 20 gig storage. But I'm not even, like, focusing yeah, on it. I'm looking at Photoshop. Five bucks a piece, basically. Five bucks a piece for Photoshop. I thought it was unbelievable. And surprisingly, the feedback has been tremendous. It's been yeah. great. Everyone's yeah. like, okay, they're all saying this. Finally. Okay. Yeah. It took a little while for Adobe to get there, but when they did it, it was worth the wait. And so. it's cheaper than a lot of, like, we can go right back to the show where we talked about it. And the prices people were throwing out there were nineteen ninety nine, uh, twenty four ninety nine. Right. We really thought the lowest prices. they would go was like fourteen ninety nine. I was so I've been in talking with Adobe for months, and and they've been banding about nineteen ninety five, and I'm like, oh please make it fourteen, please make it fourteen, please 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 please. When they told me a couple days before it was nine ninety five, I about blacked out. Now I don't want to talk a whole bunch about this because I wrote in depth about it on my blog on Monday. So when you're there reading Joe's thing, go back a few pages and you can get to my blog post about it because it is, it's a wonderful deal. Yeah. But I want to talk about something else that I haven't heard people talking about because when I read people's comments, and they were overwhelmingly good, which is great. I'm, I'm really glad we turned the corner on that. Now we can talk about Photoshop and Photoshop's features because uh, there's a lot of cool things going on with Photoshop itself. Hey, real quick. Yes. We didn't tell people how to get in touch with us to post comments. Oh, can't they post comments right there on the page? They can, or the hashtag. Oh, you can use a hashtag. Yeah. If somebody's not, I guess it depends on where you're watching. But the hashtag, what is it? The pound sign, the grid live? Pound sign, yes, the grid we live. Got the, we got the, the, the. And we have some up. giveaways. I'll talk about those in a minute. Okay. Right, sorry. That's okay. Back up. I appreciate you <laughs> helping move the show along. Okay. So I want to talk about, because I, 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 some of the comments. So there's two main things that I want to talk about. There's still people who are like, Oh, I'm not gonna get on the creative cloud. Oh, it's not for me, I'm mad. I'm like, really, after all this, you're still, it's just not enough. $10 to use two professional level software. Photoshop is, isn't a consumer software. That's Photoshop Elements for 79 bucks. You wanna use $700 software, but $5 is too much. Yeah. $5 for Lightroom, do you know how much, too much. Do you know how much upgrading Elements every year would cost you? How much? It's like 80, 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Yeah, so 80. for an extra 40 bucks, you get Lightroom. Yeah, Photoshop and Lightroom. And Lightroom, yeah. Yeah, it's an unbelievable deal. But anyway, so I saw some people's comments. There's two comments I want to go over. One of them is people still saying, you know, oh, I'm not going to rent my, you know, my software. And I talked about this on Monday because here's what I wanted to say. Adobe's not going to tell you this. I'll tell you it. They ain't going back. They're not going to go back. You can write as many things. You can find all your friends and go back and forth in forums and say how all Start petitions. Not. Start <laughs> petitions. Do whatever. They're not going back. They are not going back. And that's what I want to talk about is why. You know what? I really haven't heard a good explanation why. And I don't think that Adobe would tell this story. But I want to tell you this story. Tell me this story, Scott. But, but I want you to do this. I'm going to tell you the real business behind this, Right. I want to tell you the real business reason why this, why Adobe did this. There is a very legitimate, makes sense business reason. But if you know right now as you're watching this show that you're not that open-minded person, that you've already made up your mind and no matter what is going to be said, you're still going to hate, come back in 10 minutes when we do our portfolio interventions. So just take a break, get have a, a nice tea, coffee, yeah. get a cup of coffee, make a little sandwich, and then come back. Yeah. For those of you who are still watching, Here's what I want you to understand is, I'm gonna go all the way back to CS5. 
So CS5, Photoshop CS5 in the Creative Suite came out at about the exact same time with maybe give or few, take a few weeks, maybe a month, that the iPad came out. Now the iPad was the first tablet to explode on the scene, right? And you know, I just, what, what was the number that they, they said 200, 700 million iOS devices now? Yeah. Anyway, it, it, it was a bigger thing than anybody thought. So of course, what do all the magazine people do? Hey, this is what we've been waiting for. We wanna create magazines for the iPad, all right? Adobe actually did a custom hand-coded version of Wired Magazine. They actually built this program from scratch to let Wired have an app for the iPad. And it came out and everybody was like, this is amazing, it's the future. So what do you think happened to every other magazine publisher in the world once they saw Wired with this unbelievable app that has interactivity and it looks fantastic and it doesn't ha you don't have paper cost and on and on and on and on. Everybody wanted it. Publishers all over the world, including us, mm -hmm. we couldn't wait to get our hands on it. So Adobe has now created this technology and they want to let all these other people be a part of it. Here's the problem. Photoshop CS5 just came out. They cannot release new features for 18 to 24 months. What happens to Adobe's business during 18 to 24 months where all of these magazine publishers can't get their hands on it? Now, this is what I don't think a lot of people know. This has to do with US tax law. Adobe is, is here in the United States. But have you ever noticed when, like, when an update for Photoshop comes out, they release bug fixes all the time. Did you ever notice there's no new features in there? Yeah. That's because, because of the business tax code, they cannot release features to Photoshop without it being paid. Even if they want to, even if they go, look, we've created this brand new thing to make magazines, but we can't give it away. What they had to do was release the Creative Suite 5.5. Yep. And they had to charge for it. I think it was only 49 bucks. They, they had to charge something for it. He, he, but, but they were able to give the tools that people needed without waking them 18 to 24 months, right? So at the end of the day, Adobe cannot give us the things that we need at the speed that today we need them. Today we actually, who is gonna wait 24 months now for my next Photoshop feature? You know what it is? The world has changed. A new phone comes out every single year. A new iPad, a new tablet comes out every single year. Even if you already have an iPad, here comes a new iPad a year later. Apps are updated with brand new features multiple times a year today. This is why they had to go subscription. They could not add features to Photoshop, even, even this thing we're just talking about, even just the publishing stuff. And by the way, they didn't add anything to Photoshop. They added it to InDesign and yeah. Illustrator. It, they created this publishing base, but it wasn't, there's nothing new in Photoshop 5.5. So now we are, here we are, 2013. And I don't think there's anyone that would still be hanging on to Photoshop two years from now thinking, well, my, my business has changed. I, I need to be able to develop for these things quickly. I need to be able, nope, you can't have it. And I know people are thinking, oh, that's BS, you can't. You could, they could release it if they wanted to for free. No, they can't. Do you know what program they can do it to? Lightroom. Lightroom was built under a separate tax thing. I don't understand it all, but I know that Lightroom, they are able to sneak little things in. So the only way that Adobe was really gonna get people to continue to be able to buy their software, I mean, you, you can't just go CS6 in January, CX7 in June, CS8, yeah. and you just can't do that. So what they wanted to do was have a way to stay viable to their customers. You have to be able to give me the tools when I need it because in this day and age, people will go, well, if I can't do it here, I'll go someplace else. This was, and, and by the way, what you're seeing Adobe do here, they were not the first people to do subscription. Everybody's gonna be doing subscription for the same reason, because nobody's waiting these long, long periods of time for updates anymore. This is going to be the way of the future. So in just a few years, whatever desktop software application you're using, if it's a company that, that has any plans on updating any quicker than 18 to two, two years, it's going to be subscription based as well. So you might as well kind of go, okay, the world has changed. This is where I'm at. And, and it's, and, and, and roll with it because you know that, I don't know if you know this, do you know Adobe released new features into Photoshop this week? It, it just, all the Creative Cloud people got brand, if you go to um, uh, Color Range, right? 
Is it color? Yeah. Color range, right? Yep. They added all these new controls. People are online going, oh my God, I've been waiting forever for this. But they just released it. They're like, it's ready now. That's the thing everybody's missing. When it's ready, they're pushing it out. Isn't that the dream? Isn't it what we really want? Do we really want to wait 18 months and then spend a bunch of money to get 20, 30 features? As soon as they're ready, give it to me now. Now, on the subscription-based plan, they can actually do that. That's why this week, Creative Cloud users around the world all got new features. And it wasn't just that, too. There were other features. Mm -hmm. they, they rolled a whole bunch of little things in there. But anytime something's new, it's boom. Oh, hey, I just heard, we're just looking at a comment here from Tom Hogarty. So Tom is with Adobe, and he says, uh, for your information, we stopped that type of revenue accounting with Lightroom at 2.3, so after Lightroom 2.3, they're stuck with the same limitations that applied to Photoshop CS5 or CS6. I was gonna talk to you about that, Tom. I'm like, Tom, why are we waiting so long for Lightroom features? <laughs> well, at least now I know, so yeah. at Lightroom 2.3. But, but do you see the kind of, it, it kind of put Adobe in a spot where if they're going to be competitive, if they're going to be delivering what their customers need, and that magazine thing is the perfect, because you had people just, there's new technology, but I can't take advantage of it. Yeah. So that, that's, I hope people get their heads around it. it and people are going, oh, it's just a money grab. It's this, it's that, the other. And uh, no, it's not. This is the future of Adobe, and that's why they ain't going back. It's not, and, and it has been a tremendous success. So that's part of it. If it had been a huge failure, I don't know what they would have done. but. It, 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 for so many people, it makes dollars and cents. For people that use video, for people that use graphic design, that use all these programs, it's a huge bargain for them. You know who was mad about this? Photographers. And you know what? We had every right to be mad because there was not a solution for us. There really, really wasn't. Now there is. So let's just go, hey, 10 bucks. If you don't have 10 bucks to subscribe to Photoshop and Lightroom, professional level software, Photoshop and Lightroom shouldn't probably be your first concern. You, you mm -hmm. should have other concerns yeah. like, I gotta get a better job, I gotta get out of this place, I gotta do something else. Because 10 bucks, it's two cups of coffee, it's 30 cents a day to use professional level software. Monaco Javier says, thank you Monaco, this is a great explanation. I wonder why Adobe just come, didn't come out and say this. Um, I don't know, you know they're a big Can company and you know. That it's harder for them to say. We can say it. Well, you but know what it is? Is here. Part of my opinion is is th they could come out and say it. Nobody um, would I, hear it. I believe. I believe very strongly. Exactly. I believe very strongly that if you hate, if you did not like the idea of subscription software, you you know, you maybe you're an Apple user. You never saw what Microsoft did. You know, a year, year and a half ago, whatever it was. Um, nothing. Nothing. Anyone says. Nothing. You just said matters to those people because they're right. watching yeah they're watching they've decided they hate it. you can you can defend and you can give all the backup you want those people are not watch are, are watching right now they're not going to say oh scott i hated it before today but now it makes perfect sense well yeah it's just, i know and they're, they're gonna hate it and now. part of the culture is that any corporation by default is evil and it's out to get us and so everything we look at from any corporation that's coming towards us, we have to protect against it and look for any pitfalls because it is going to trap us. And you know what? This is what's bad. We know Adobe. Like, we know we know Tom Hogarty personally. Tommy's a, Tom's a good Tommy. I didn't, Tommy! I didn't, Tommy! I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I meant Tom is. Tommy's a... Tommy! <laughs> I did it again. Tommy T. <laughs> Tom is a great guy. Tom's the kind of guy you want to go to dinner with, you want to hang out with, you want to play sports with. You know, the people at Adobe... They're just like us. They're just regular people. They're, they're, they're going in. And believe Dude, there's me. There's nothing regular about Tom. <laughs> there's nothing regular. But inside their walls, do you know what they want to do with Photoshop? They want to kill on it. They want it to be the best program. They get the best. They're coming up. They sit around and sweat. What are we going to do next? What's going to blow everybody away? How can we give them the tools that they need before they even think of it? They're really passionate, engaged. I mean, when I, I talk to these people all the time, they're not like, we're just coasting. They're like, wait till you, they're like, wait till you see what we got coming up. Wait till you see yeah. what we're working on. They show us stuff that they're working on, and our minds are, and it's like, they're, they're, it's not a big corporation. You know what it is? It's a bunch of people, just like you, just like me, just like Matt. That, There's that, only one of me, sorry. They're, they're just as passionate about what they're doing. They're just as passionate about bringing you great software as anybody else. So stop that. They're a big evil. They're sitting there like, Whoa, <laughs> subscription plan. <laughs> they're like, guys, we need to do a subscription plan or our customers are going to leave us 
because we're not going to be delivering the stuff that they want as fast as they want it. It was an easy decision for Adobe to make, and I hope it's the 995 makes it super easy for you. Warren says people will pay eight to 20 bucks a month for Netflix, which non-professional, but complain to pay a little extra for a bundle of professional state-of-the-art software. That you have to remember, Photoshop is, is probably the single greatest piece of software ever. I can tell you it ain't Microsoft Word, <laughs> but it's probably, I mean, it is a piece of software that has changed history. It has changed visual communication forever. But I ain't paying five bucks for it. I ain't paying five bucks for that and five bucks for Lightroom. No way. Oh, yeah. second point. They're going to make it short because we've got to take a break and then we've got to get into the interventions. Second point is a lot of people were saying, well, I'm just a Lightroom user and I have elements. Where's our stuff? We got screwed. I mean, people are all, look, this deal was for people who at one point gave Adobe $700. $700. They were Adobe's Photoshop customers. And Adobe came up with a way to simply take the people who had already invested 700 and give them a very affordable way to stay an Adobe customer. If you just bought Lightroom, you've given Adobe $150, but now you want to buy $700 software for five bucks a month. It, that's not fair to Adobe. So look, I'm not saying that Adobe one day won't come up with a deal for Lightroom users and for Elements users. I gotta imagine that at some point they will. I have no idea what it'll be, but I can tell you what Matt, Pete, and I'll be doing. Whatever price Adobe tells it's gonna be, we're gonna be going lower, 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 because that's what we do. We're trying to represent the end users. And I've spent a year with Adobe on this, and our, our thing's always the same. Let's go lower. It's just Adobe pulled a punch on us and went lower than really what lower. we thought our lower thing was ever gonna be. So anyway, keep that in mind. The deal that's there now, and I know that you want it because it's such a great deal and I understand. Just understand that this particular deal was designed to bring people, Adobe went back seven years. If you bought, if you gave us $700 anytime seven years back, come on, we'll bring you up. Tip of the hat to Adobe, yep. that's the way to do it. But you gotta understand if you spend a hundred, and by the way, a lot of people got, Lightroom on deals for 99. 99 bucks. There are people that got Lightroom for 49, but now they feel somehow entitled to pay five bucks for the Adobe, for the other part for it. It's, it's just not fair. But I think what Adobe did too for photographers who were their customers, love it. Woo, woo. We're Thank taking you, a short Arsenio. break. When we come back, it's time for a portfolio intervention. Don't dun, go dun, away dun. right here on the grid. Hey guys, I'm Bill Fortney, and welcome to Old Car City. This is a really neat place to come to make photographs. We're gonna learn field techniques for photographing Americana subjects like old cars and trucks, graphics, color, rust. Please join us in the upcoming class on Kelby Training, Bill Fortin in the field at Old Car City. Hey, we were back. Wow, that was a short yeah. break. Good God. We're like trying to get a couple of things done. We're back. We're back. So uh, I want to talk to you about this the, today's uh, show, Portfolio Intervention. We got the idea from our show two weeks ago. We took last week off because of Photoshop World. But somebody said, you guys should do a portfolio intervention. We had a really great show two weeks ago. We were looking at photographers' websites. Mm -hmm. We were actually looking at their overall site and saying it's good or bad. We got so many nice emails from people. Oh, yeah. So many nice ones that said, I changed my website tonight. I met a guy oh, in my yeah. seminar like two yeah. days later that yeah. said, I was watching your show and I put up a new uh, website. It's people did it better. that day. Yeah. People had it done oh, yeah. before the show was over. Oh, yeah, they <laughs> did. It was great. Hey, um, we, hey, we didn't talk about um, prizes. We do prizes real quick. Prizes. Our prizes. prizes are a stump. We're giving away a stump. Two stumps. Two stumps. We have a white stump and a black stump. These are iPad holders or any tablet, I imagine, but it's designed for the iPad. And basically, it holds your, let me just show you, it holds your iPad at an angle, up this way, or fully upright for movies and watching stuff like that. Anyway, we have two of these to give away. They are from Stump. It's Stump, the portable tablet stand. Stump. 
Let's but leave daddy, Zonic. I want a stump. Here, son, take one. Gee, Dad, thanks. <laughs> We're also giving away a copy of a for the Adobe Photoshop a Lightroom Classroom in a book from our friends at Peach Pit Press, and also from our friends at Peach Pit Press, the uh, Canon EOS Rebel. 5TI book right here from Snapshots to Great Shots written by one of our favorite guys, Mr. Jeff Ravel. Now, Peach Pit also has a deal for everybody. If you don't win, doesn't matter. Peach Pit's got a deal for you. Every week they give our readers an ebook deal. This one is, this book is getting lots of love. Phenomenal. Zach Arias' Photography Q&A book. This book is, everybody I've talked to that's read it absolutely loves it. I got a copy, I just cracked it open. It, it, it's very, very insightful. I gotta read it on a plane. Um, it's by Zach. You get 40% off the ebook by using by going to peachpit.com slash Kelby TV and then entering the code Kelby TV and you get that prize. And so the original digital price is like $24.99. Now it's down to $13.99. Thirteen bucks. Phenomenal deal. Thirteen bucks. When was the last time you spent thirteen bucks on something for your photography and you're gonna get back as much as you do from Zach's book? Go check it out. Terrific book. Hey, um, day after tomorrow, I'm in Miami. Come and see me. My Shoot Like a Pro Tour is in Miami on Friday. I'm going to have about 400 photographers in Miami. Why aren't you one of them? Come and hang out with me. How about Livonia, mm -hmm. Michigan? I already have 500 people for Livonia, and I'm going to have 500 for Arlington, Texas as well. Come out and be one of these folks. Let's have a great time. It's my Shoot Like a Pro Tour. Go to KelbyTraining.com. Click on Live, and then you'll see all the dates right there. Okay. Now, so here's what an intervention is. An intervention isn't we go through your portfolio, it's not a blind critique. Yeah. We ask people, send us your site, we're gonna go through it and tell you which shot needs to get that <laughs> heck out of there. And because, it came from us telling a story. Yep, yeah, tell the story. So Don't we, use we, names. We, we're, we're not gonna use a name, but, <laughs> but Scott and I, had, there was a friend of ours, and, and somehow we just got to talking about a photo that we had seen in their portfolio that they used over and over again. And, uh, and so, it was the next bad. time, the next time we saw that person, because they had a good portfolio. Other than that, we like we couldn't figure out what is it. This one photo. What are you so, seeing in there that nobody so else? So the has next seen? time, the next time that we 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 saw this person, we we sat him down. And we're like, all right, we're doing an intervention. But there was like four so, of us that sat him down. Take this photo, whatever this photo is. Take this photo and get it out of your portfolio. Your portfolio is good, except for this photo. Get it out. So. We know that you have friends, that you have the same thing, so we invited people. Now, most people send in their own and said, please find the photo that's got to go. We're not going to, we're not trashing the whole portfolio. We're trying to find out good photographers that have one shot that's yeah. just got to go. Now, I can tell you, I looked through a bunch today. Sometimes I look through these portfolios, I'm like, it's all pretty good. Yeah. So we won't always have one. Uh, there are some that I'm not showing today because they were so good. I, there was a guy that sent in some motorsport stuff, some uh, like MotoGP racing. He had a phenomenal shot on the homepage. Oh, was there. that the yellow? Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. I, I put good. his site on there, but. It's all good. There's not a shot in there that, that's, what I'm looking for is a shot that's so out of character, it doesn't belong in your portfolio. All of his stuff was so good, I'm just like, yeah, this guy's really good. So how are we starting today's show? We're starting with our own portfolios. So, uh, <laughs> I don't okay, know. And none I, of this is planned, by the can, way. Can we I just step, in, it, can I step in here, please? Because okay. Matt invited me to be on this, what, about an hour before we started? At least two hours. So I'm guaranteeing, yeah, and I had other things to I'm guaranteeing y'all looked through y'all's websites and did a little I tweaking. I swear I did not. Okay. I swear to you. Because I have not done anything Dude. to my website since I put it up, like, months ago. I have so, been in meetings since I walked in the door this right. morning and I had a lunch meeting and I came straight from an I don't believe either meeting. one of y'all. I don't believe you especially. Matt's look at look at Matt. Oh, Matt's not Matt. saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> See? Not me. I have been so busy today. Matt went well, quiet. I, I had just I, as much time to I, copy some I will some say life. I have <laughs> tweaked my portfolio recently. I did not tweak it because of our decision. Yeah, okay. Did you tweak it today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 see, yes. you, you gotta watch you the eyes. You probably remove the one I would remove. Well, let's see, let's see. Right, we'll go through, we'll, we'll start see. With Matt. So we're gonna start with Matt. So we're gonna look at all the images and we're gonna see if there's anything in here that like, dude, this one's gotta go. All right, go I've see. I've had one in my mind that I, that I thought Do, about. Can you say what it is? Cause I can tell you if I took it out. I don't know where it's at. But right. I know the picture. All right. And it's not a bad go, picture. Okay. It's just, you've got such good stuff that it stands out to me. All right. All right, how do we just click and go? Just click and go. All right, that's nice. Beautiful, actually. That's beautiful. I love that shot. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. <laughs> that's the one? I don't know. I, 
Okay, let me go on. You know what it is? You've got, this is what it is. It's not a bad shot. There's no one's going to say that's a bad go back shot. To it. But it's just not, there's nothing to it. It's just kind of a. And every time I see it, I'm like, this looks out of character with the rest of your. Like we went to the guy and went, this one, it is not a bad photograph. And there are plenty of people that would kill to have this photograph. In fact, it looks better on that monitor than it does on mine. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking on the big monitors too. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Maybe I should, uh, <laughs> dude, maybe what you need is some vibrance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me go through. But when I thought of, of one of your images right. that would go, this yeah, would have been the one. Going. That's good. Very good. Beautiful. That's the classic. Beautiful. I love this shot. I know where that is in Maine. That's nice. Nice. I like the tractor. The tractor? This I could get, take or leave, but that's good. That's real good. Monument Valley at dawn. Nice. Nice. The canoes. I could take this or leave this, but it still doesn't look out of character. That's nice. I love that shot. That's OK. <laughs> I mean, I, they're not all my favorite. Oh, I love this shot. They can't all be my favorites. How many shots do you have in here? 200? No, okay, we're back to the beginning. <laughs> all right, so honestly, I think you have a lot of wonderful shots. The only one that I would say bail on would be this one. Okay. And, and I just, I don't, I, it, it, you know what, sometimes, and this is what happens to photographers, maybe the day you were there, you're having a really, really great time. You're with some, you weren't alone, right? You're with some friends. Um, I was I wasn't with friends no but was it a, he has no friends was it a workshop no, no friends workshop uh, no I mean there's other people there but I wasn't so you couldn't yeah. find any friends in this entire state no okay so anyway so Matt's there and is there's nothing in the foreground Matt <coughs> so <laughs> foreground foreground okay I don't know but it just this would if I could choose one to be a and, and you know what if you took this out of here it wouldn't make your portfolio any weaker because you have okay. such great shots I'm not saying anything I'm, right. I'm just taking it all right I have two portfolios I want you to look at all right so well I, I looked at your portfolio so mm -hmm. so I I actually <laughs> no I actually I don't I, I think the portfolio the photos in your portfolio I, I I mean I like them all there's there's nothing I would say like this has got to go so here's a photo mm -mm. that it shows up. Number one, it shows up on your blog's homepage, and it shows up elsewhere. Okay, show me. <laughs> this one. Yeah, you know what? I think you're right. I think that photo's <laughs> kind of weak. Dude, to me, that, that, that's, a, that's an iPad. That's an iPhone photo. Yeah, dude, I'm out of it. It's a, it's a fisheye, actually, but it's out of there. So that's really dude, that's it will be done five minutes after the show is over. That's how, no, dude, that's I appreciate a, that. But see, like I look at that, and I'm like, it's because so much good stuff. It's I, yeah, it's, no, you're it's, right. I don't know. No, I appreciate it. You're right. That thing's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, I Peter set you so, up. So I know. I I was trying to get the range. I was okay. like, I didn't want to come in too. Yeah, dude. Too hot on you that. know what? I, even I've been sketchy about that when I put it up there thinking, I don't know, it's kind of yeah, cool. That, that's, kind of, that's like the photo that we are our, our friends. That, that one's we, gone. Okay. It's gone. I'm not married to that photo. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. What about All my right. sports stuff? Did you see anything PD. here? I, I mean, dude, I, I, I'm i not. Brad, yeah, Brad called it, me a wuss. So I'm not being a wuss. I mean, I, I like it all. Aaron Rodgers flying. Flying Rodgers. Hey, he's coming to town to beat my bucks this week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this was, by the way, this is nothing or anything. This is him running out for the game that he broke the record. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah. I got a whole story how I snuck out to center field because I didn't really have the right vest to sneak out to center field. Don't tell anybody. <gasps> I like that. I like that. I like that. Hey, this guy's pretty good. This guy here? Yeah. He's, yeah, he's good. He's not so bad. He completes a lot of passes. I like a lot that. of luck, though, right? I like that. I like that. I like that. And I got two more. I like that. Like that. Okay. All right. So, all right. Well, I, I appreciate the one that you did for me. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, it's, yeah, remember, it's just one photo. Yeah, it's funny. Brad pulled out the one that I would have said probably your weakest of them, and it would be that one. You know what it is? Can I tell you why I think I don't? Because I I'm a little bit ambivalent about this one. It, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Brad <laughs> showing me it. No, he he's right, and I want I want to tell you why. Because it, it, while it was chosen as photo of the day, by the way, but <laughs> for the wire service that I shoot for, did I mention it was chosen as Photo of the day by people who actually know sports photography. Okay, so, <laughs> kidding, Brad. All right, you know what it is about this shot? 
it's you don't have that great depth of field. Right. Yeah. You it's don't have that separation from right. the background. You can't see what's I mean, going it is on. Antonio Gates, who is on my fantasy team. So there is a little thing. And then look, Rondé Barber, right? Right there. My favorite player on the Buccaneers who retired this year, Rondé Barber. So I do have an emotional attachment to this photo. But dude, if you like Rondé you know, Barber, this isn't a good photo for him. No, Rondé's he's like, getting burned. He's, getting he's like, oh, I know, crap. Rondé's getting burned. I have a really nice shot of Rondé that I have just, you know, uh, uh, at one another game. What's funny is, is as you went through him, that, that one came to mind, right. too. Just because it's, it's just yeah. busy. It's the depth of the, field, the no, business, it's the depth, especially yeah. with the, the, All right, the thank you. I'm going like to reevaluate the one. You have a good point. Even I knew that when I put it up. And yeah. it was just like, it's a good action shot because it's the classic. But... He's not really facing the camera. Right. So if he had been turned around the other way, catching it over his shoulder, I think it would have been a much stronger shot. And I think we might have forgiven some of the, the right. fact that the background yep. isn't, you know, and I don't go and, and fake blur the backgrounds or anything. I should probably. but I, I do. Know. Send it to me. I'll fake blur it for you <laughs> all, all right, day long. All right, Petey. Thank you, Petey. Petey, let's go to Pete's. Pistol packing Pete. He's a happening guy. Now, do you want us to look at illustrations or photography? We'll do either one you want. Well, since it's a photography show, we'll go photography, but you've already ripped them apart. Yeah. So, no, and, but they're good. Yeah. And to be honest, I put all these up when I did my square, uh, square space yeah. and just popped them all up. I haven't really done a lot of editing to them. Okay. And I'm just using that caveat there. Because okay. to be nice. honest, I've done all like kinds it. of different stuff. I, I just wanted to have one category, so I pulled I in go. a bunch Dude, of different Dude, this is a beautiful shot of a chair. Yep. Yeah. That's nice. It's nice. Nice. You know what it is about what this? You don't, I don't. You know, did, we could. We okay. could stop. You I think we can go us. back to okay. the chair. Okay. I think we can go back to the chair. Yeah, I think. I think the chair's got to go, bro. Because right. I know Pete's portfolio, and he's got. I mean, yeah, he's got, he got a lot of great stuff, stuff in his portfolio. Most of yeah. it's beautiful but, people pictures. But if your client was not the bride, but a furniture manufacturer, yes, I agree. This would yeah. be no, that's stunning. A good, that's a good call. Just take that one out. All right. So that's all of ours, right? Yep. All right. So let's go through some of the ones that people have sent in. Okay. You ready? We got uh, yeah. Ingo. Ingo. I, I like, like the Ingo stuff. Ingo's I did too. Ingo's, Ingo's got some Ingo good Montoya's stuff. Good. So we can kind of scroll. I, I like I like the ones that have this little masonry layout because you can kind of just what jumps yeah, out like at you. Yeah, the smug mug, the collage. Yeah, bottom like, left. Yeah. What jumps out is you at bottom out left. You? No, no, you scroll down. Scroll down. Right there, I'm bottom thinking, left. You know what? I saw that before yeah, too. Yeah, that, that was. You know what it is? It's out of character with all right. these landscape shots. Here comes a a highly HDR. You know where HDR looks bad on stuff that's out of focus. Yeah. On, and, and there's a, a shallow depth of field in that shot, and it just kind of looks. I yeah, that one too. I'd go back go back to the grid thing because that, sometimes that's a great way to see oh. how they all go, uh, how they kind of blend together. By the way, if you're gonna go star blur, you either gotta go all star blur, star blur. or no star blur. Yeah, because it just looks like birds streaking across the sky. Okay. Um, yeah, because I've got such a great feel. So that's through, is that through a train window? I, I, yeah, there's a ton of reflection. It, it almost looks like a double exposure flipped. Yeah, because I see like trees yeah, it's upside a flipped. down. Is it flipped? Yeah. Oh. No, it says a double exposure, ver yeah, oh, yeah, a double exposure version of the Swiss Alps. God, I want to go to the Swiss Alps. You ever tried the cheese Alps? there? It's got holes in it. I want to go to the Swiss Alps. That's nice. Nice. A little too much on the processing. Is that Hermosa Beach? Yeah. No, we're looking. We're looking for that one that's let's like, got to go. I think Pete's right. I think it's the the one. Yeah. That's a nice shot. Nice long exposure. That's very nice. That's nice. That's Lucerne. Nice. 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 Ghost Lucerne. Train. Ghost, yeah, train. Ghost Train could go too. That's nice. That's bad. I would yeah. either say this one or yeah. that well, texture. Now one understand we saw that's earlier. not a necessarily a bad photo. It's just out of context. It doesn't belong in your portfolio. Yeah. Like going along, going along, going along. What is this? Yeah. It's just kind of like, huh? So that's what we're talking about today. What's the huh shot? How about right. how about this guy, Jason Wallace? Hi, Jason. Jason's a very good photographer. Let's take a look at Jason's stuff real quick. All right, foggy, rainbow, beautiful. Eh. Eh. Nice shot of some fence. Foggy. Nice. Like it. Uh, atmospheric. Mm -hmm. Atmospheric, more beams. I love this shot. I love this mm -hmm. shot. Ooh. Very nice. Foggy. Pointy. Eh. Choppy. Choppy. Ooh. Like the beams. Barn's okay. I love this tub. It's my favorite, one of my favorite ones in there. Really nice. Beautiful antelope canyon slot shot. More fog. 
restaurant. Restaurant or hotel lobby? It looks like Cinque Terre. It says Piazza Tazo, so it's Sorrento Coast. You know what it is here? He's just kind of all over the place. It's because there's travel shots, but it's it's like it, this is back. yeah. I, there's not one that really, there's two or three that I would yank out of here, but I'd consider that one's got to go. Yeah. This is this is if I had to choose one, we think, Petey. Yeah, the fence definitely. Yeah, it the is. fence is just, it's it all it's already in bad light. I mean, it's already kind of not. There, there's other stuff in there that you can go either way. It's like depending on if you're into travel or whatnot. It's yeah. just like if you're going for landscape, that that's. Yeah, that's got to go. Yeah, yeah, I'd definitely probably do it a little could, bit. It could have even been. I mean, you're like the. You're right. The light's not great. Um, the the sky's not great. Yeah. I mean, I'd he, do a little bit of editing because you've got the lamp. You've got a couple of them that are more almost interior yeah, right. shots this that one, go a little bit yeah, off is, of what everything else is. Too, yeah, because there's there's two problems here. There is the one intervention, but overall there's not a cohesiveness because it starts off and this starts off with a foggy house. Well, and even the window frame in or there the is course. a nice window frame. The old window frame about midway through, right there with the right by the tub is nice, but it doesn't have that same flavor of everything else no. in yeah. there. He's, overall, you're shooting wide. Good photographer, good photographer flavor, flavor. Yep. All right, what do you got there, Ski? Hey, I saw him in the uh, Vegas airport. You see flavor? Photoshop world. Flavor, flavor. flavor. <laughs> he pulled out a wad of cash at Aunt Annie's pretzels. Yes. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Like, pretzels for everybody. You love a pretzel, don't you? I do. All right, uh, we are on to, this is uh, Alan Stanley. So, uh, Let's look at the thumbnails. Yeah, we can. I think yeah. we can tell a lot by the thumbnails here. I was thinking the same one because the flower doesn't look pretty. No. And that's if you're going to shoot got a all shot, the gold, it the, better be pretty. And the little edges and yeah, and that's an yeah. ugly flower. That one's got to go. All right, Pete. It looks better on your screen. Look over here. That, that's yeah. a magical screen. Everybody it is. Yeah. For some reason, nice. it looks better. Because I'm looking yeah. over here and thinking, that doesn't look good. Oh, well, I, uh, and here's the thing. When we started it's out, I saw... It's to being further away from a photo, too. Yeah, yeah, it does. I saw, just speaking about the whole portfolio, I saw the tiger up front, and I wanted to see more of the tiger, but that's the only animal shot in the whole thing. Yeah. So it's kind of like got me excited about it and then moved on. And uh, well, One more thing just overall, Alan is you have a bunch of shots of the, the exact same, same person. Arm. Right. What that means is I really haven't done that much shooting of people. I, look, here's uh, six shots of her. And uh, then I, you have the little girl, a bunch of shots of her. Anytime you have a bunch of shots of the same person, it says, I don't have a lot of experience. I, I just, I got these shots and here they are. Yeah, and, I would, and that's not even a particular take. Take that one out. Yeah, yeah just, not that flattering. Go. I'd pick the best one of those six of her yeah. and, and move yeah. the other five out. Yeah, there you go. Good advice. Okay, Matt. Oh, uh, that, that was on yours. I'll have, to, I'll have to go get one. Sorry. Wasn't, wasn't... I got one up if you want Okay, to good. Yeah, go ahead. Take the next. Uh, all right, so... Oh, this guy's good. Yeah. All right. I liked his... Uh... I'm not a big fan of people laying on the ground. <laughs> go to the Vitrados. Yeah, I know. So, so, so far we've heard Matt has no friends and he's not a big fan of people. Go to the BBs. BBs. I love the BBs. BB. <laughs> See? <laughs> I mean, I, this is the only one I looked at was the babies. I like the babies. Baby. Oh, baby picking nose. Ooh. Ooh. Baby with tubes is probably not. Yeah. Uh, if I'm a parent. I'm, ven I'm venturing to say yeah. baby with tubes is the first one. Yeah, yeah. baby with yeah. tubes. You know why? Because if you're a parent. Yeah, you don't want to be. I don't want to, I don't want to think of my kid happen to be in ICU. And if I'm looking to hire you to take shots of my kid, I don't want to see ICU. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'd go the tubes. Yeah. But this is the one that's got to go. Yeah, that's got to go. Oh, God. Uh, oh. All right, hold on. Let's okay. Go. I'm a queasy right. person, so. I know. <laughs> I know. Let's, go to, uh, let's go to this one right here. Here we go. This is a favorite images from More Shots. Hey, we're going to go to Brad's at the end of the show, too. Brad said we could go to his. <laughs> uh, just looking at the thumbnails. Now, this is a favorites portfolio. I see a... a a lot yeah, of sports. All over, so we just got to pick what we don't like. This is. one, Pete, you think? I, I, I can't figure out what it is. Oh, but. it's it's uh, football players coming through smoke. Oh, okay. It just This one looks kind of... Yep. 
Yeah, this shot here, if you handed your kid a DSLR and said, stand on this hill, Tommy, take well, a shot, is it gonna look any different than that? No. Well, well, no, this is an important uh, golf hole in Hilton Head, so I can appreciate why it's why it's shot, but yeah, it just needs a little bit But it's more. not a shot of the golf hole. It's a shot of the clubhouse it, or the restaurant. It's from the angle where it is. I, understand, I know where he's shooting it from, so it's- Do you? There has some significance. In, yes, I do. do there you, has do some you. significance to it. Now, that's but. a nice shot of Twitch. Okay. Uh, Nobody got that one. So anybody, nobody watches So You Think You Can Dance? Am I the only one? Yes. God. Yeah. All right. So um, he has the same glasses. Um, I think we found that's our That's kind of nice. Yeah. Well, there might be one to compete with it, though. Why would you think dead trees were going to make a good picture? I think I might yank that one. But I'll, I'll go with what you guys said. I like your sports stuff. I like your sports stuff a lot. Nice. Oh, I like yeah. that. That's a nice shot. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yep. Okay. Right, Matt, take you're up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Desert balloon. Intervention. All right. Let's click on portfolio here. What do you guys feel like looking at? Portraiture. Portraiture. Yeah, Portraiture. Yeah, Portraiture. yeah, we haven't had a whole lot. Because fine art, so you know, it's much. hard to hard to. All right, for starters, I don't like your portfolio. Not, not it's your picture. The, design the navigation. Of the design is, of the, yeah. yeah, it's time for a new website. Um, that's going to be a contender. That's nice. Those poor people. Just feet. That's nice. I like that. Kind of blown out. I like this. I like that one. It's the same people again and again, but you did a good job with the shots. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, oh, what is that doing in there? Go back. I mean, I'm just going through really, oh, really, man. really quick. We'll go back to that. One's got to go. All right, we can't go through all of them. No, no, it'll, it'll take a lot. I think we have way uh, too many photos in your portfolio, but we've got a winner. Yeah, man, is that got to go? Yep. Intervention time. Clutter. That's gotta go. Clutter, just. I, I was gonna say, why do you say it's gotta go so that they clutter, can? Clutter, bad sky up at the top here. It doesn't look it's, like a professional photo. Yeah. It looks like an absolute snapshot taken with a cell phone. Well, and the fact that she's, she's turned away. She's looking the other way so you don't have any emotion. You have zero emotion in the shot. See that shadow? High That's noon. as high noon as high can get. Yeah. And it's not a pretty landscape. It's not interesting. There's junk in the foreground. There's nothing good yep. in that shot. That's your shot. That's, That's your shot. Room. Easy, easy portfolio fix. All right, let me grab another one. Hold tight. I don't think we've been to this one yet. I prefer to hold on loosely. Don't let go. Don't let go. If you cling too tightly. You lose control. All right, well, this one's, this guy's good. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Matthias? This guy's good. <laughs> what this? do we feel like looking at here? Oh, uh, well, we can do. His automotive stuff is, is very nice. Uh, this is one of the only ones I got to take a, to take a look at was automotive uh, because I like automotive. Yeah, we haven't had any automotive yet. Now, the unfortunate thing is, like, his opening shot, I think, is one of his weakest. I kind of like that. I love just the highlights. Kind of like that. Nice detail shot. Very nice detail. Mm. It's a little mid-day, but I, uh, there's one. He, he shot that in the hill. Look, if you go back, look in the corner. There it is. Hell. H-E double hockey sticks. Okay. I like the detail, detail, detail. I like this engine shot quite a bit. This one, the his starting one, is, is yeah. very un. It's it's a good background, but the car, which is what the subject is. Now he's is, got better stuff. You got much better. I certainly wouldn't start with this. I don't know if I, I could say you got to purge it from your portfolio, but I think it's the weakest shot. This is the one. This was the one. Yep. This is this is really weak. This looks it's, like. You used a Home Depot light. Yeah, to light it looks like on-camera flash. That's got to go. Uh, uh, I would agree. Well, if you go back, if you go back to the one before, is yeah. it just a matter of post-processing to bring out a little more detail? Yeah, post would help this down. one. Post, post would help because that car is, is black, black, black. Yeah. But, but I think our winner is yeah. the next shot. I agree. Yeah. Hang on one second. Do I Photoshop open that do? Let's. Uh, did I drop that bad boy in there? No, I didn't. I didn't actually use it. Hold on. How much you pay for Photoshop? Photoshop? Five bucks? Uh, yeah, five bucks. Five bucks? Five more? bucks for it, five bucks for Lightroom. Here we go. That's a pretty good deal, right? Didn't a cup of coffee cost more than that? 
All right, here we go. All right, so let's just say that we use look, filter, a feature in, CC, apply it. I, I it, almost it, like it cropped in a little bit It's too. a little better, but you know what it is? It's bad light, and it's really, really hard to overcome bad light. Yeah. You'd have to do some definite work to get rid of some of those yeah. highlights. And yeah, do some, some of the stuff highlights that. are really harsh. This if we're just on. picking one, so if we're just picking one, I still it's say that, that Porsche. That, yeah. that next oh, photo. yeah, that old Porsche. It just got, was yeah. not lit. But good good photography overall, Matthias, yeah. so good job. Hey, we're going to take a short break. We have a bunch more to look at here in just a minute. We're going to do them quickly because we don't have a bunch more time. Stick around. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go away. Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here, and I want to tell you about a brand new classic Kelby training online that I'm very, very excited about. It's called, What Makes a Great Sports Photo? And man, have we got the right guy to teach this class, living legend of sports photography, Mr. Peter Reed Miller. You know, Scott, I think a lot of photographers are surprised to learn that it takes more than just timing to make a great sports photo. Suppose your school assigns you to shoot a football game. You shoot 800 or 1,000 pictures. The school says, we want the 20 best. How do you know which ones to pick? And that's what this class is all about. What we want to do is give you a real sense and a real kind of a goal of this is the kind of shot that makes a great sports shot. So when you're looking at all these images on your computer, you will be able to go, that's not good, that's not good. That's the one, that's the one. You'll know exactly what it is. You'll know exactly what to send in. You'll know exactly what to show in your portfolio because you'll really understand what makes a great sports image. And it's not just football. We're covering football, we're covering basketball, baseball, track, on and on. So I hope you'll join us for this exclusive class. It's What Makes a Great Sports Photo with Peter Reed Miller, exclusively KelbyTraining.com. Hey, we are back. Scott Kelby here with Matt Kluskowski and hey. Pete Collins. We are doing portfolio interventions. Hey, you want to, uh, this, this portion of The Grid is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is that site you need to go to when you realize your <laughs> website looks ugly. It's the site that kept coming up for our portfolios. Yeah, because they, uh, well, and, and you saw my sports one earlier. Yeah. That, was a, that was a Squarespace site. So um, they have templates. They are very inexpensive. They're, they're easy to use, very, very easy to use. They you can have a portfolio and I tonight. Pete and I switched the same day. Yep. Did remember you? that? I still remember the day. And I haven't uh, changed mine since. Yeah. I, <laughs> I still remember the day um, one of our uh, one of our guys in here was like, "Hey, have you seen Squarespace?" He's like, "You should try." You were the one that told me about Squarespace. And so Pete and, and I tried them out. Fifteen minutes later, we had a website set up. I was signed up. I literally had a friend at Photoshop World. We had talked about some of this. He'd watched one of the grids about you know about changing your portfolio, and he changed his and signed up for Squarespace and had everything up and running in about twenty minutes. What about their app? Not the Squarespace app. The Note app? Note app. I they love have Note. the best app that has nothing to do with portfolios. It's just called Note. And what it what it brings up is, can you show the screen? Can you zoom in? I'm sorry, you actually have to be <laughs> near a camera. I know that you're busy doing other stuff like tweeting or something. There we okay, go. It, it's nothing. It's an empty page with a, with a keyboard. You write a note to yourself. Don't forget milk and swipe up. It sends you an email. It sends you an email to wow. whatever email address you've already chosen. Yeah. Nice. So anytime you need a, like a quick reminder, you want to send something. I know people are going, well, don't you have a reminder app? Don't you have yes, I do. But nothing's faster than note. And it's free. Yeah. And it iOS. sends it to my email. My email has become my to-do. Right. My email. I see it in there. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to show this site. But I can't get the guy's images I, big, but there, I can see a bad one at the small size. I, I can't either, but I think it's a good example because I think you can just look through the thumbnails and, and yeah, you right. can spot the one so, that doesn't fit. So this guy, I think, is doing real nice commercial fashion stuff. He's got some really nice layouts and then this awful shot. What Here, happened there? That's a, the in. fourth from the top left. This one. Yep. Like, some of these are really, really good, and this one's like, this is my it's got sister. trees creeping in. Stalker. Uh, and it's just, it just doesn't. Yeah. It's, it's and so all the other stuff is so nice. With stuff like this. Yes. Right? You got this really cool stuff, and you got the stuff that looks like Miami Beach fashion or New York fashion. Yep. And then you got my sister-in-law was in town, and I took a shot of her out front, and she likes it so much I put it in my portfolio. You know what? The next one to go is right next to it. But if you got to get one out of there... You got really nice work. Lose that stuff. Okay. All right, let's see. Next one up here, focal point photography. Let's look at the thumbnails. Matt, may I call you Matt? 
Uh, not today. I see mine. I see mine. Is, is it the Statue of Liberty? Yep. What does that do in there? Um, because it's crooked? It's crooked and... It, is it crooked? Or is it just me? That's... I'm on the boat. Hold on, honey. Dig, get a <laughs> shot of that. I forgot my camera. <laughs> Thanks. Can you email that to me? Can, can you go ahead and text it to me? Thank you. All right, go back out to the thumbnails. It's just... It's Snapchat, it's yeah. very it's snapshot. It's, it's, not, it's not a great shot hey, of the statue. By the way, Liberty. don't worry about putting your your watermark on there. No one's going to take that shot. Yeah, the sky is is blot dead trees. Wow. Sky's blot harsh. Wow. Oh wow! Right, you just jumped to. Oh, that's the the place mark for all his New York stuff. That's a nice photo. That's a good one to lead yeah. off. Yeah, come on, bud. Um, you're going to say something, Pete? Did you have a different one? No, I wanted to just go through them again. Man, is that Scroll down. Statue of Liberty look out of place? That the, la girl, the, the last one is kind of naked. That's naughty. Well, it's not necessarily naughty, but it's uh, just a little bit different from the rest. It is, but I mean, it's not as different as the yeah. The Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is like what? That just sticks out as. Is that in Venice? Yeah, the Statue of Liberty just sticks out as it doesn't belong in there. Statue of Liberty. Okay. Doesn't belong. You got another one for us, I there, do. Scotty. I do. Scotty. I, do. It's, it's I love Christian. when the camera switches this from y'all. Y'all are in your computer working, and yeah. I'm just staring over here. Like, <laughs> I know. It's odd, isn't it? Okay. Ooh. This guy's good. Sublime Scenes. I think his name is Christian Rogers. Good alliteration. Right. That's nice. Wow. Nice. <laughs> it's a, it, it reeks a little of Matt there. I was going to say it's a battle between his but and Matt. He's got some he's glowy got, trees on there. you got to yeah, watch out for that. Yeah. Oh, he's got a glow around it. That's just This is bad post-processing. This is not necessarily that bad a photo, though it's not a great one. But the glows around your trees, that's... Scott that's, does not like this that's angle of the picture. That's a post-processing nightmare. Okay. So, let's go. That's not bad. That's, uh, that's certainly something. Uh, but that's now, now, the now he's cranking up the HDR. Yep. You yeah. were doing good. Now you're, like, overdoing it. So, this is, those I two like photos this, are this, immediately to I the like right this. of Mesa Arch. Love this yeah, shot. Yeah, that's of a blues. beautiful shot. This is not bad. It's kind of interesting, except for little, the glow. A little crunchy. This is, yeah, a little crunchy. This is kind of a eh. That's a, that's an eh. That's kind of cool because mm -hmm. of the lightning. That's okay. That's nice. Okay, if I had to pick anything out of here, I honestly think it's these, these. I know everybody was like, gotta have their, their classic Aspen shot in there. It's not a bad shot but I don't think it's as good as your other work. But I would almost have to go back and say, even though that's not as good as your other work, the, the world of glows here, see this white glow going around everything? That's gotta go. Either reprocess this, but you know, it's it's very much, is this the same place yours were, Matt? Yeah. Well, and one of the things you wanna look at is it just feels kind of uh, constrained because of the way the reflection is right at the bottom there. There, there just needs yeah, more room to tiny. breathe. Because yeah. it's such an epic shot, it needs to have kind of a feeling of epicness. Yeah. I, I really like this one. Yeah, I really like that yeah. one. That's, uh, this is, Matt's looking at this shot, well, that shot. Yeah, this <laughs> one, I really like that one. Yep. I think that's a terrific shot. I'm a starburst kind of guy. And so. I also love the, the composition of this shot. I'm yeah, more of a now one later. So, good photographer, good <laughs> photographer, good stuff. All right, what do you got there, Matty? Uh, or is it back to me? Uh, it's back to you. All right, you well, give me a second. Give me a second. We're going to this one. Here, I, I can pull one up really quick. I got one. All right, this is Fadi. And uh, some. I saw this earlier. He starts off with some really nice food that's shots. A, those, like yeah, that's that beautiful. I like the textures. Yep. And then what the heck is this? Oh, that's where I, it came from. I know from. that you're saying this is where... And then it goes back. And then this one also looks like you're next to a cruise ship. This... What happened? It was going along so nicely, and then it just kind of falls apart. It was really going good. Some really nice shots that had a, a like you could tell it was taken by the same photographer. It had a nice look. It was, and now it's just a ugly leaf, semi ugly leaf with frost on it. Ugly flower. Yeah, the feelings of the first ones versus yeah. these is completely yeah. different. Yeah, I, I don't know which one to tell you to take out. I, I mean, because uh, it, it deteriorated really fast. Okay, there you go. Take See? that out. Nope, I stand corrected. Take that one out. Nope, that one. 
That's got to go. <laughs> a little lens uh, correction wouldn't do you. No, really, you know what it was? It, it started off so nicely. You think, hey, this guy's really good. And then you spend the rest of your, your, spend the rest of your portfolio trying to convince me that you're not. So don't have that kind of. You know. I said I'd take that one out. If I had to take, yeah, if that, I could only take one. Yeah, go back. It's the one that kind of makes me cringe. That if one. I can only take one, it's the one that looks like flesh. That, yeah. You know what? Hold Scabby. on. Scabby. This ain't looking real good. I know. There's flesh on that too. But is that a knee? I don't know. I think those yeah. are all fungus. There's some good fungi. stuff here. There's. It's, but yeah, it's. Uh, can I kind of and, remind and you I, how good I, the ones were at the beginning? Let me go back to the beginning. They were. They were really like keep doing more than keep doing. Isn't more that, of that nice? Isn't that nice? Brad's asking if they're workshop so, shots. Oh, you mean the first three? Yeah. I wonder. What happened here? Is this a cruise ship and I put some... Peppers? Oh, you know yeah. what? Brad might be right. This shot, this shot, and this shot might have been taken to a workshop, and then this is when I tried it myself. <clears throat> because this is done in beautiful light. This is done in beautiful light. This is done in beautiful light. This is where... I wasn't concerned about the light. I'll stick these out in 2 o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon. Yeah, I mean, look at the shadows. Yeah. Ooh, that's a bad one. Okay, I don't know. There's there's some work there. Yeah. There's there's a little bit of... Go some. with those first three shots. I didn't even mind it. The the heavy... The, the HDR and the, the end were, were heavy. No, they weren't. I didn't, they weren't as bad I, as that stuff in Yeah, the I didn't mind I them agree. as bad, but it's you that's the fleshy-looking stuff in the middle. You know what? If, if he just showed <laughs> us the first three shots, Flesh. just those three... We would go, ooh, oh, this, this guy's, guy's good. phenomenal. Yeah. This guy's yeah. really good. Yeah. All right. Matt, you got, Matt's got one. All right. <clears throat> this one's up on Flickr here. Oh, dude, I didn't choose any Flickrs. If they put on Flickr, it's not really a portfolio. You're just throwing up. I bet that person has a ton of images. Right? Scroll. I yeah, there, there well, you can see by the scroll mark. Yeah, scroll But I kind of like the grid. I kind of like this because we can just kind of scroll through and just see what jumps out. I know, but how, how are you going to choose that 200 images? Which one's got to go? With just something that jumps out. What jumps out? The swans. The, the tractor. Yeah, I was just going to go to that one. Tractor. <clears throat> hey, but this yep. is, it's too many images. There's a big problem before we even start looking through. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's got to go. I, I choose that over the tractors. <laughs> HDR cats. HDR cats. Lol cats. I don't know. This I'd probably a, kill this, that over the cast. This cats. is a strong. Yeah, this is a strong contender. Yeah, that is a strong contender. I like the I like the idea of putting a foreground in here and all that stuff. It's just the foreground isn't very pretty. The sky's not very pretty. Um, the golden and you, color and the the stuff on the water is probably the prettiest part of the photo, and that's the least part of the photo. All right, so I'm still going with the cats. All right, so this Meow. is another photographer here. Well, we've Oof. actually looked at that's a nice shot. Some of these pictures. It's the same people. It's going quiet. Nolly? That pause button is really disturbing me. Yeah, it's up to works button. on him. <laughs> it looks like it's like his, his t-shirt. Oh, uh, that's got to get Maybe. It. Keep Maybe. going. Yeah. That's a real strong contender. That pause button has <laughs> just got to go, <laughs> That though. pause button is misery. It's right in the middle of Ooh, every photo. It, it's, I take it's that him. One, no. It's both of them. The guitar, uh, both I, are him. I, I think the... That one's got... A, that's I'd, a bad expression. I'd yeah. probably kill both it's of just, them. It's not a great pose, yeah, not a great expression. Because you have this much better stuff. This has no, no skin pores. And poor the eyes girl. are E.T. Yeah. Oh, it's so sad when you see and they have no skin pores. It's, it's made of plastic. This one that's, looks the least professional. Right. It's a cute... Expression on the kid, but this looks like this is the one that looks like a snapshot. Those eyes are glow. Ooh, hold on. Mm -mm. Yep. See, that is a snapshot. It's taken yeah, at it's the taken uh, in the mall. No, it's airport. Oh, airport. Fair. Yeah. yeah, that might that might have to go. That might that's, be him. That's Vegas airport. D first class, you see. There's a lot of pictures of the same people. I, yeah, a lot of this is just trimming right. down. That the one, the girl that the girl and the daughter that you pulled up, the guy holding the guitar. I didn't even keep that one. This it's, one? No, I, I, that one. I, it's not great, but if we yeah. got if we got to really get right. rid of one, it's gonna be, it's gonna be that one. 
That one right there. Or that one, yeah. That one. Yeah, that's just got, that's way out of <clears throat> Well, because the others context. look like there's some thought and deliberateness to it, yeah. and that mm -hmm. one kind of got caught. Yeah, don't go to my screen. I'm, I'm, yeah, thank you. I'm doing stuff here. All right, we just got a couple more because we're going to have to roll. Roll? I'm going to yeah. provide hey, a little on-screen entertainment. While we're waiting to roll, let's, uh, let's get our contest going. So if you want to join our contest and enter to possibly win a stump, if you want to win a stump, just say, stump me. Stump me. Stump me. And ask for white or black. Stump me. How do they do it, Scott? They go to uh, kelbytv.com slash contest. At the top, you select the show you're watching. You're watching The Grid. You put in your name, your email, your website, and your social security number. No. Uh, you leave us a comment like, I'm hoping to win the Canon Rebel book, because there's no sense in you uh, sending you this if you don't have a Canon Rebel T5i. Um, or the Adobe Photoshop Lite. Tell us which prize that you want to win, and we'll choose random winners, and we'll... We'll send it to you. All right, I think I got a good one here. Okay, well, this guy's good. Yeah, he's got he's got really he's got very nice stuff, and I think. But as you go, as you look through, I think like one or two pop okay. out at you as right. as what we want to do. That first good. picture, he didn't get my model release for that one. Is that you? <laughs> yeah. I always thought you had a very strong. Back. I like this shot. Lighting, atmosphere. Oh yeah, kind no, of a it's very it's weak a, like front, but my back yeah, is awesome. It's a great composite. That's all right. My abs. Matt's abs. Kind of cool. Good. Yep. Ooh. That's where. <laughs> what happened? That is where you say, this guy took that, that photo. That shot? Yeah. I mean, they are light years Let apart from each other. Let me tell you what. I'll guarantee other. that fire one he did years ago. Yeah. And he remembers how long it took him to do it. Yeah, it's probably it. Is he? He did it. He he did it. Maybe yeah. it was one of his oh, first that gigs. Is so I don't know. Intervention time. But yeah, just so. I mean, all this stuff is really nice. Look at that. Yeah, this guy's I good. love that. Yeah. What happened to that one shot? That's that's, that's great. Awesome. That's a beautiful. That's yeah. a great Look shot. Look at the yeah. light. I mean, just that's yeah. a great shot. Yeah. That's good. That's cute. Yes. That's adorable. That's kind of cute. That's very nice. Except for poor girl that has no skin. She looks shocked, like, oh, my God, where's my skin? That's, okay. That, that's it. That's Good it. Photographer. That, there's your shot, buddy. Yep, there's you gotta, that You got great stuff in that one that photo. got to go. Yep. Woo! All right. Here's uh, now, another gallery. What I love to see him do is I love to, with his skills today, I'd love to see him do a fiery composite. Yeah. You know, like, take, like. But don't get that guy and redo that same shot. Try no, something no, no. New. Do something different. All right, so here we go. We have Urban Landscapes. Send from, it to us. From Hugo C, looks like. These are all nice. I got nothing. Nothing stands out here. No. I like some better than others, but nothing's like really, ooh, that doesn't belong. No, nothing says See if you got a different gallery. Go. You got a different gallery? Oh, these are different galleries. Coastal landscapes. Let's go look at landscapes. Matt likes landscapes. I'm not sure you have enough photos really here for a landscape gallery. I'd say the well, and the duplication and of the, the right. Well, I was going to say that the du or? duplication of the snow leaves. Yeah. I'd say one of those two on the right there, the, the green or the black and white. I think I'd take this one. Pull it up. Time good. of day. I mean, it, it, composition-wise, it's okay. Time of day is disastrous. What about the black and white that's next? I kind of like it. It's kind of moody. I'm yeah. all right with it. It's moody. All right, Matt, what do you got? You're supposed <laughs> to have like 1,200 of them over there. I did. All right, let's see here. So do we, what do you guys feel like? Color landscape, mono landscape, panoramas, urban and architecture, or automotive? Go with, I don't care, whichever one. Uh, urban. Urban. Architecture. Let's try let's urban. Go. We haven't seen urban. Ooh. Well, this guy's good. Oh, I like this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Particularly like that last one. See that? Go back one. That looks like travel photography. Yeah, it's not urban. Mm -mm. Go, go to uh, Ooh, color landscape. Somebody help. Oh, so we got to go to this one next. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go to color. Yeah, because there's not a lot in that. Yeah, but once again, I'd rather have too few and leave you wanting more yeah. than. I like that. I like that too. Yeah. I like that. That's nice. 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 I really like that. Yeah. yeah, this person can shoot. This person can shoot. Nice light most of the time. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Love that. <laughs> That's all right. 
I mean, you're not going to like everyone the same, but nothing stands out here. His, his landscape ones, it's all, go, all good. It's I'm trying. I'm, I'm hoping like that one comes comes up, like smacks us in the face and says, "That's it." No. Nope. You know what? I, I gotta say, out of all of them, that's th this. Yeah, is, the very first one is the weakest. This is I think. probably my least favorite. Yeah, but it's not bad. It's no. not like an intervention no. time. You want to intervene? Hey. Here we go, right here. <laughs> it's time to intervene. You want to go to his favorites? Going. That's kind of nice. I like that one. It's actually probably one of the best ones so far. That's the Nile, bro. Jellies. Good Dude, Dubai. jelly man. It is Dubai. Saying Dubai. We'll meet again. Uh, which one? Has I'm gonna to go, go way in the beginning. There was a little twi twig and I don't know the birds the right there. Way in the beginning, there was a there was just That's something laying bad. on the ground. It was a close up shot of the ground, and there was like a, a leaf floating. Leaf. That one. Yeah. I don't know if it's any more out of character than this one. Yeah, that's dead tree. Dead tree, dead tree has got no no place in there. Either of those two. All right, last one we got to go. go. You want to look at this architecture portfolio? Yeah, look at this. They got whoever this is. They got really nice stuff. All right, we got that one. Nice. Sorry, I was looking at this other one. We're not even going to show it. Oh, it's Paul Brad's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do Brad's. Brad's begging to be intervened. All right. So I got to say, because I think we're back to the beginning. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. I'm afraid yeah, I, I don't, I don't have any. Here. I don't have any that stand out. My favorite is the one you just went by. I think it's going to happen on Brad's. I'm not like super crazy about this one. That's still nice. I like it's it. It's nice. It's just. But it's not intervention time. Yeah. yeah. This isn't do we like that's one true. That's true. That's this true. This is true. like you got to get this out. True right, that. Here's, here's Brad's. Here's Brad's. Switch over to mine for Brad's. Here's Brad's. Love it. Crap. Like it. Get rid of it. Good. Good. Tell your gear. Really like it. Mm -hmm. That's on the borderline. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Love Great. it. Carlos. Love it, like it. Did I tell you when we were playing at the House of Blues, he came over and asked me to play with him? Not really. Okay. I like that I like one. That. That's pretty good. It's a good moment. I, like I love that, that one. one. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I really like that one. I like Ooh, that. that's good. You know Can we go is? back up? That's skillet, bro. Go back up a little bit. It's the crowd jumper one. You know what? Yeah, the crowd jumper was this questionable. One? It's a great I moment, but it doesn't fit the the rest of the feeling. You know, if I had to choose one, I, I'm, I'm okay with this one. I kind of like the way their security's kind of, and he's like, is that is that an, Is that a performer? No, that looks like a fan. And they, these guys are going, all right, you're out of there. All right, Brad, I say crowd jumper. All right, Brad, Brad I'm look. thinking, I'm thinking this one. It's... It's the expression? She's asleep. She's a sleepy bear. I don't know. It's not bad, so I, I couldn't. I, I wouldn't say intervention. There's not. It, yeah. It's, yeah. it's still there, a good shot. There's nothing technically wrong. It's just with not it. my favorite, so I'm right. going to count that. It's just uh, this is my least favorite of a bunch of great shots. So, but yeah. there's no intervention here, Brad. Yeah, Sorry. I know. We wanted to help. <laughs> we wanted you to have a helicopter shot in uh, helicopter dash shot in fish eye, but there's just not there. Good stuff, Brad. as always. Skillet, 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 skillet. All right. That was a good a good way to end. It was a good way to end. Hey, everybody. Want to thank our sponsors. Want to thank On One Software or Unoe Software. Hey, they just announced their uh, uh, Sweet, Sweet Eight. Eight, Sweet Eight. They just did. So I've been uh, I've been kind of kicking the tires a little bit yeah. behind the scenes and yeah. stuff. So dude, there's some there's some pretty neat stuff. Dude, I didn't get to like, see it when I was at Photoshop like World. I was like clarity, detail, tonal contrasty stuff. Yeah. Like they 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 did they nail it? Yeah, they really uh, they really stepped it up on this one. So. Mm. Nice tease. I it'll like be, that. Uh, it'll be you got cool. us wanting to play with it. Yeah, now. I know. I'm anxious, for, I'm anxious for it to like come out because it's uh, it's neat. All righty. Well, thank you guys for, for watching. Uh, also, thanks to B&H Photo. 
who is one of our sponsors and the greatest people on earth. We get our gear there. Go to bnhphoto.com for whatever you want because they have it in stock and they have the best customer service anywhere. On behalf of myself. And two beautiful men. And two extremely beautiful men. Especially the one on the left. Than the next. Pete, where can they learn more about you? You can go to petecollins.com or you can go to Google Plus, uh, petegplus.com. Petegplus.com? Yep. Matt? Check me out over there. Uh, just go to mattk.com. My portfolio and all my social media links are right on there. Oh, and also, sorry, I'm going to jump in. If you're a NAP member, I'm on the NAP member website Pete every lives day. On the NAP I website. oversee the NAP member website, so make sure you come check me out over there. If you've got questions, comments, or whatever, come see us. We've got a great photo compositing challenge that happens every other week Dude, over there. People love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, what like, happens? It's the most comments out of anything. What happens is I give them some images to play with, and then they turn them in, and then yeah. I'll pick a winner, but then I'll do a whole video review of as many as I can, like 15 images, and say what are some pros and cons to it. So it, it's helping us all learn how to do compositing a little bit better. That's cool. If only someone had written a book about compositing, a book oh. that was considered by many to be the Bible of Photoshop compositing. If we only had a resource. Can we give away one of your books? Uh, absolutely. All right. We're going to give away one of Matt's compositing books. He's got, his compositing book is, is amazing. Thank you. So uh, go... You can also write in their compositing book if you want. So if you've already gone in and done all the contest stuff and you've asked for something else, you're, you're going to need to go back in and Go do back it again. in and say, yeah. or Matt's book. <laughs> or Forget this. the stump. I'm going for the compositing. Will you sign it? Autographed copy of Matt's book. Booyah! All right. I'll Thanks, everybody. We'll see you guys next year on The Grid. Thank you, Pete. Matt. Yep. Thank you, guys. Did you say next year? Next year. Next week. <laughs> next week. Omega. You're not going to be here next week. This week's episode of The Grid is sponsored by Impix. Shoot today, upload tonight, we ship tomorrow. On one software, focused on photography. Peach Pit Press, publishers of technology books, ebooks, and videos for creative people. Epson, exceed your vision. Expo Imaging, rogue flash vendors for speedlight enthusiasts. Intel, the power you need for hardcore creatives. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional photography website. And B&H Photo, the professional source. Here at Calby 